I have just built a prototype prop, and I've not tried this yet. I've been waiting for you guys to get here so we can watch what happens together and see if it works. But here's the story behind this. A friend in the theatre industry got in touch and said, we're doing Beauty and the Beast, and as part of that, there's a glass chamber with a rose inside it. And during the performance, uh, I'm not sure, I don't know the whole storyline behind this, but leaves selectively fall off the rose until there's one left and then it just flutters down itself. And there, I've seen various ways of doing that because I've done a bit of research online and one of them was interesting. It was like all connected with the phone and it was like lighting up and chunks of it were falling off with loud servo noises. And I have to say, initially I thought magnets could do, do this or you could have uh, little Bowden tubes going up the middle and then uh, servos at the bottom. And I think that's what that guy with the other rose was doing because Chunks of it fell off and then finally the top just toppled off it with a loud a servo noise. But I wanted to do something more subtle. So I was thinking of ways to do it and I thought, what about wax? It's an odd way to do it. It makes it a bit more complicated to reset, but it might be quite interesting. So I got a 10 ohm resistor and I got some candle wax. I'm just going to zoom down this here. And I melted the wax and stuck the resistor on and it actually stuck on really tightly. Then I connected a couple of leads to it. Uh, it's a 10 ohm resistor. I ran the power supply up to 2 volts, about 200 milliamps, um, which gives a total of 400 milliwatts, which is just above the rating of a quarter watt resistor. And after a few seconds, the wax melted and the thing fell off. And to reset it, I clamped this down and I heated the resistor and it basically fused itself on again with just the addition of a bit more wax if needed. So I thought I'd refine that a bit more. So here is just an experimental rose. This isn't how it would look in the end. This is just a prototype. But it's just using uh, wires and connectors up the stems as the stem. And these are just, uh, I'd use uh, this sort of paper wedding leaves, I think. The ones you get, the sort of silk leaves maybe. Uh, but these are just printed off on the printer and cut out to look like leaves. And the resistors I've put in a little connector so that you could actually just plug them into the rows. So let's um, zoom down on this, right? And I'll show you the process of fusing this on. And then we'll try just this one. And then we'll try the whole rows and see what happens. So I have a little pellet of wax here. I have my hot air gun, which I'm going to use to cheat here by heating the wax like this. So I'm going to heat it initially and try not blow it everywhere. Once it's uh, heated to a degree, I'm going to squish it flat. And then I'm going to hold this in place. And I'm going to reflow the wax so that it sort of goes around the resistor. Then, unfortunately, just because the wax takes a while to cool, I'm going to have to uh, basically stand here until the wax slowly solidifies. That's right, that's what it's doing. It's solidifying, solidifies. Because if I get too impatient, see, I just got impatient, didn't I? I moved it. Now I'm going to have to remelt it. So this is a terrible idea. But I tell you what, I'm going to remelt it. I'm going to stand here like a dooley. And uh, I'm just I'm going to pause momentarily so you don't have to literally watch wax dry. One moment, please. The wax is more or less cooled, so let's continue. It is surprising. I'm, I'm going to not going to attempt fate by touching this because I've only just done it. But it is surprising how much uh, abuse the rows will actually handle once they're attached. They're quite resilient. The other thing I considered for this was uh, pins and thread. That off stage, someone could pull threads, numbered threads, to actually pull specific pins out. But it would still require a lot of reset time. This thing. Uh, means that you could actually make a whole batch of these little wax petals up. And the way I might do it, I might have a strip with the connectors on it that you plugged them on and it was weighted down and you laid the petals underneath and then just powered the whole lot up at 12 volts for 10-15 seconds and then turned it off and walked away and when you came back, maybe 10 minutes later, they'd all have cooled and they'd be attached. But I have connected a power supply to this. What do you reckon is going to happen? I'm going to be running it at 12 volts. These are 330 ohm resistors. The current is going to be just under 40 milliamps. And uh, that should give the similar sort of power dissipation of just under half a watt. Uh, hold on, I'm just going to have a wee sneak preview. 44 milliamps. Hold on, let, let's bring in the kink calculator. That was probably stabilising, so that might not be the end result. Uh, 12 times 
0.044 powered by 0.5 watt. So that uh, it won't make the resistors burst into flame, but they'll be hotter than normal. Let's uh, try this. Are you ready? Three, two, one, activate. The power is now on. The heater is resist. The resistor is heating up, and after a slight time delay, the wax will hopefully let rip. It's not doing very well. That is not heating as much as I wanted. Uh, that is a different wax I used. And now I'm worried because, uh, oh, <laughs> see, this is right. One moment, please. Back again. I've reattached it. This is why we make prototypes. I used a different wax. The first one I did at a small blob of candle wax. This one, I used these little wax pellets and they're actually seem to be a higher temperature. Right, tell you what, let's try it again. Let's see how long it takes for this to uh, melt the wax and drop the leave. So, starting three, two, one, power. That's better. That's what I'm looking for. And to attach that again, literally, you just uh, place it on in the sort of suitable jig, uh, turn the power on. And then that would uh, remelt and it would fuse. Right, tell you what then. Now I've done that, let's try it on the the actual rose. I'm, I'm glad I tried that there now. Let's zoom out. Because if I hadn't tried it there, I would have made a complete dick of myself and this wouldn't have worked. It's going to work a lot better at the slightly higher voltage, the slightly higher power. The choice of wax is apparently important. Let's see how this looks. So, three, two, one... Power. So the first thing that's going to happen is the outer petals are going to fall off. This would be facing towards the audience and they would fall to the bottom of the thing. So they're just all falling off. That's a good result. And then after that, that's 300 milliamps by the way. After that on cue, at the end of a particular scene, the last petal, is this going to get trapped on the other thing? It would actually be vertical like this. Let's hold it vertical like this. Would then drop off as well. So it would sort of like heat up, the wax would soften, and it would drop. But the whole thing would be aimed to actually, you know, it'd be designed to encourage them to drop in a controlled manner. Uh, that works. So what's that? What am I running the resistors at? 16 volts at 50 milliamps. That's a nice round figure. 16 volts times 0 0.05 equals... About 0.8 watts, the best the part of one watt. That's quite high for those little resistors. But they are only operated briefly. I think I'd rather use a lower melting point of candle wax with this and just run them at the half watt. It was perfect with the other one. It's just uh, obviously when I've tried this, but then this is why you make prototypes. So that is it. This is quite ugly, I have to say, but then again, it wouldn't really be seen by the audience too much. The leaves could be bigger. Everything tends to be done so much bigger in the theatre industry just so the audience can actually see it, so it would be sort of significantly bigger. But that is the prototype. I would say that it was a good test, that it does have potential. It'd be interesting getting some of the little silk or paper wedding scatter leaves and uh, the rose leaves and then trying it, maybe even making a jig. But uh, for a prototype, you know, it didn't go perfectly the first time, but then that's why you make prototypes. But I would say in all, uh, that was pretty good. And it would, particularly if you saw it facing up towards the camera, it would normally be facing out the way, so gravity would make them fall in a different way. Uh, but I would say that was not a bad result. And because each resistor melted at its own rate, uh, melted wax at its own rate, they didn't just fall off in a clump. It did scatter. And you could effectively control them one at a time if you wanted, so that during a song, they would literally just, uh, it, the rose would gradually just shed its leaves. But I would call that actually a success.